Hello and welcome back to the Rambling Hour. I hope you got your cup of coffee ready or whatever the hell you want to drink right now. Right, but what we're we still doing because I've... Something relating to mysterious Dr. Styles, and it's in this place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, close. Which was basically figuring out if he was a creep or not. Last I checked. Yeah. Right, double click to make her hurry up a little. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's an ID we have. Yeah, we don't need it anymore, to be honest. I guess maybe so we should check the basement for his lab. Well, in one of the places you can't enter normally. Yeah. Probably a private lab we can't enter. It's locked. Yeah. The door's locked. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do anymore. So I'm just gonna let you look around for a bit. For all I know, you just need to be in the fucking thingy. Um, Someone in the Styles' family had a thing for stuffed birds. The dining room that or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know either. It's a picture. That's the woman from the portrait in the hall. Yeah, you don't say. She's everywhere in his life. Phenomenology. Actually, Very what's up the front here? I could see that in my dressing room someday. Any of this? Oh, no, this oh a point in the book. That might be interesting. Yeah, that might be. Two thousand two. Yeah, what's that? A little light reading. No I don't think you need to hurry her up when you're just looking in the same corner over there. Yeah, maybe not. Anything else? Brains in jar, old MRI, main lab. And there was nothing in the main lab, right? Wait, there was something here still. So. Oh, just the board. This is your brain on a board. This is your brain on a right. board. The this is your brain on drugs joke. Nobody said it had to be a good joke. <laughs> oh well. So what have you been up to all week? Uh, well, these last two weeks I've been weirdly busy. Yeah? Because we didn't record last week. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. I was too exhausted on Sunday. Mm-hmm. And then the day after, where we considered maybe giving it a chance till I had therapy in the evening and that was just too much. Yeah. Remember when we used to do these records on like Friday or Saturday? Yeah, that's been ages ago. <laughs> Yeah. We're too lazy. Can we talk to her? We can. Yeah. Can we talk to her now? Ah, the accident. I just found out what happened to Ah, we're just checking in. Well, I'm new to Oxford and I didn't know. I'm really sorry. We didn't ask you, did you? Why don't you give him some matter that you run off? No, you saw a news article. No. No. Oh, don't. If you don't let people talk to you about it, they're never gonna shut up about it. Pictures are everywhere. Even that calendar is still set to 2002. He won't let me change any of it. I get it. He wants to be reminded of her for his own self. But he can't bear to hear other people talk about it because there's no way they can possibly Why do you understand? And anything they say just seems like idiotic. Maybe that's right, I don't know. In any case, I thank you to avoid the subject with me. I don't know what other troubles does he have on his mind. Can you now check if we have had everything? Mm, no. No progress. Can we talk more to her? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay, go to the dining room. Let's let's look around there. Mm, dining room was here, right? Yeah. Yes. Cool candelabra. All I need is a nightgown and a stormy night, and I could play. Jane Who's Jane Eyre again? I don't know, but uh, considering how she's uh, doing the. Saying about the uh, night car, and I'm thinking it would be a look you would love. Mm. What were you pointing at? Just for you, yeah, because there's nothing new here. Yeah. Uh, can you go to the top? No, top. Oh, just go. No! Ah. Mouse stop, yes. Map? Look at that statue of a. Oh. 
you smarty pants. Yeah, it's here we need to be, yeah. so uh, exit. Right. Um, let's get there again. We're basically trying to find the thing we didn't do. Yeah. Mm. Zippered pouch? I don't know. We tried to check that for yeah. something earlier. I wonder why Mrs. Dalton keeps cash lying around. The computer maybe? No one ever comes in here but me. We haven't really that touched it. Ancient. <laughs> Might we as well be an app because <laughs> mm -hmm. Can we accidentally enter the The office there? Yeah. Let's give it another try. No. Diploma wall? It's locked. Hmm. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about neurobiology. Might be interesting to learn, though. Doctorate, postgraduate. I know he has a whole fucking set. Yeah. Gotta catch them all. Nice couple. They look happy. Annoyingly perfect, maybe, but happy. They were happy, yes. Oh, they went to the Taj Mahal! Mm. I don't know if you noticed. I didn't, but... Uh, okay, let's go up upstairs, maybe. And the last options are outside after this. Mm. Cabinet. Some dusty old armor in there. Can we enter the spare room? That would be... Yeah, weird. I also wondered about that one. Guess none of these rooms have been used since the clinic. Yeah, of course not. There's nothing in her bedroom, no? Just the rabbit. Nothing we need to get from the backpack, I guess. No, because it's supposed to be related to David. You know, mm. Phantom of the Opera, but yeah, not. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Can we trigger him by showing him Frankenstein? <laughs> okay. I'm almost done reading it. Trey. Trey Gothic. Trey. Trey. Please, Americans, get it right. Is Jane Jensen American or British? I don't know. Probably American. It could be both. Okay, let's leave again. Considering that. You know, she worked for an American company Let's in the... Let's see how she reacts to this bedroom. Oh, we can go somewhere yeah. then? Yeah, click there. Click. Okay. Just click there. Yeah, I don't see anything. No, considering Jane Jensen was working for an American company in the kind of pre-internet age, pretty certain that she's mm. American. Or a British expat. I'm not giving up my room. He can move. <laughs> okay. Let's go outside. Maybe something with the tower, huh? Yeah. Or the back of the house, if we can get there. Yeah, front entry. Uh, right. Pardon me, back exterior. Garage. That's one of the bonuses we missed. Hmm. Hello! Hey look, it's our bike. It's a car. The bike will have to wait until I've got a bit more cash. Yeah. I think that's a Bentley under there. Nice. The man has a Bentley. Mm-hmm. Not sure if that's good taste or anything else. <laughs> Why does he even have tools for the car? Mm hmm. These look old. And a bit more Most people don't have that shit. No, moldy paintings, no. Oh, so terrible. <laughs> Man is filthy rich. He can go into a depression funk for like 10 years and he's fine. And destroy probably millions in dollars worth of art artwork with that, but... Oh well. Okay, fine, I'm sick of looking. Give me a phone. Look at tower in the meantime. Yeah, I'm working on that. <sighs> we completely forgot what we were doing. Yep. 
Great. Whoa, true. Thank you. <laughs> Are we on day two or day three now? Two. We're still stuck on two. Meanwhile, dear listeners and watchers, what have you been up to last week? Put it down in the comments. Put it down in the comments. Yeah, we have to get engagement metrics up. We've never had engagement. I know. Isn't that sad? How long have we been doing this? Three years? Long enough. Sam plays lab assistant. We got all of that right. Is that one? Sam plays lab assistant. We got all of that yeah, right, yes. Yeah. Three is price part two. We have that. Oh god, this is an awfully sorted guide. Isn't it sort of per sub-chapter thingy? No, it's multiple pages ah. and lots of advertisements, so... And that's bonuses... Oh, we did all the bonuses! <laughs> oh yeah, we did! Talking okay. to the housekeeper was probably the last bonus. Yeah. Sam plays lab assistant, blah, 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 blah. Anything else in here? God, load your fucking text page! Scientific American experiment plan, blah, 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 blah. Are we still playing lab assistant? <laughs> ah, mysterious Dr. Styles, part, part three. Part three. Uh. Uh, Susan. We talked to Susan about styles, right? Mm, yes. Oh, maybe it's uh, some of the earlier parts we need. This is terribly sorted. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I should have looked it up first before we started. Well, we didn't know we were going to be on such a stump's dead end. Sam gets guarded. We've done that. Mm hmm. Okay, Mysterious Styles, Librarian. Uh, we put the flowers in. Yeah, that's the a vase. bonus. We've talked to Dalton about the accent and. Mm hmm. Main lab, more flowers, note of instructions, Radcliffe infirmary letter about the stuff to do, mm -hmm. filing cabinet, file things, we've placed nine files, it's not ten points that we're missing, it's more that we're missing. Susan's office, talk to the woman, blah, blah, blah. talk to Susan about styles. Headley, ask him about everything. Talk with Susan again. Mm -hmm. Get experiment plan. Get a bunch of stuff from the shop. Mm -hmm. Tom, spirit gum, stage blood. First aid kid. We all remember this experiment yes. plan. Blah blah blah. Scientific American. Linkweller. Neurobiology phone list. Condolences card. I don't remember that. Cabinet K. Cabinet K. Yeah. Oh, in the in the basement. Yeah. Ah, oh, we're basically trying to figure out who has a problem with him. Okay, cabinet. Nothing exciting in Okay, then we already have it. Top. Okay. Hmm? Top. Experiment plan? No. No. Oh, where? Ah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, coin, the jigsaw. Full list? Yeah. Okay. Do this again. Right click on the phone list. To the left. No, no. 
Oh. In the inventory. More to the left. Ah, no, that's instructions. Is it in a C then? Condolences should be C. Ah! Interesting. This is signed by a bunch of people in the neurobiology department. Yes. So we take that and compare. gonna do it for us I think or not no we're gonna have to click the name that we don't find that's on here but not here Bill Smite says on it Bill yeah uh, I click on Bill Smite yeah David Styles it's not gonna matter uh, Susan White with here yeah Isaac Yasmin Jamin Gertrude Cloyd yeah uh, Gris Lloyd or something here it is Lloyd. Then a Simon Pistol? Yeah. yeah. Man, Eileen that, McDonald. That's the name for someone who hates their parents. Ross Tatten Ten Tatenden. Tatenden. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Uh, Not good if you're Dutch speaking. Uh, that's Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Leslie Joss. Chad Hadley. Fred Chambers. Cynthia Bartlett, it's fucking Linkweller. <laughs> yeah, we kind of already had a hunch about that, yeah. but yeah. Leave this. And that should be everything. Yes. Bingo. Let's just leave. Go up wherever. Oh, never mind. Oh. She goes. She goes there on her own. Okay. Yes. Oh, that was a very loud. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm allowed to be it soon. You call us rats one more time and I'll castrate you. Lambs. What? We're lambs, not rats. The Lambs Club. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I like it. It's better than rats. Brilliant, darling. Oh, fine. The Lambs Club. But what about styles? What about Is that the shy kid between them? Uh, that's, no, that's the <laughs> film perv. No, it's not the film perv. I'm pretty sure of that. Harvey. He's not your punk it's Harvey. People are always right. afraid of fuck, I don't, don't remember understand. anymore whose name is what. Are you so ah, that's a shy kid. Never yes, mind. yes, the kid in the green styles. black square you? thingy. The blonde kid. Also, what's with that like? It's sunglasses. <laughs> it, <laughs> it took you this long? It looks so much more like, um, like some sort of a lacy mask thingy, which is like, mm -hmm. oh, why are you wearing that? But he's not mentally damaged. He's fine in the brain. <laughs> or even weird. <laughs> I heard it myself from an expert who's seen Dr. Styles' medical reports. There's nothing wrong with him. He just likes his privacy. And can you blame him when everyone is so vicious? Ah, <sighs> big explanation. As for me, if I hear one more person pass on that lame gossip, I'm going to personally stuff it back down their throats. So you don't believe the gossip, then? Who told you about Styles' medical reports? Mr. Headley, I never believed anything bad about Dr. Styles. The man can do what he likes as far as I'm concerned. My family is legendary for eccentrics. <laughs> Did you catch that? <laughs> I've seen the plan for the experiment myself. It's routine. Even the department head approved it. The prank at the trap. Well, presumably. Dr. Styles is perfectly normal. He's perfectly normal. Hundreds of thousands of children in the US are wards of the state, farmed out to private homes, and sometimes home after home. Ah, <sighs> he thinks she's still there. Ooh, that was a very loud noise. <laughs> You're fine.
Would you have that? Ooh! Hey, we're playing as someone else this time. I forgot we actually got to play as him. I'm expecting all of his lines to be pretty depressing. <laughs> I just said it. <laughs> I do find it funny that he even sleeps with a mask on. Maybe he feels more comfortable that way. Mm. Every single line is gonna be about her, isn't it? <laughs> this is a bit over the top, but okay. <sighs> Left. Wow. I guess he's trying to avoid to say Shin she died. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sculpture still. Hmm. Yeah. Mister, I wanna click everything. Sure you did. Maybe he's trying to find a way to conjure her back from his mind. Maybe. That would be awful. Oh, it's just a sculpture that he's making of her or what? That just exists of her. Hmm. Okay, we have the mirror. He's probably not gonna want to look in it. No. Or if he does, he's gonna be making an annoying comment about himself now. Hello! We seem fine. This is fine. <laughs> bathroom. We have a bathroom. Yeah. I shall. Now oh, see, this is why people are like, no, you have to have like a bathroom connecting to your bedroom. That's chic. I'm just a big sad person. Wah, wah, wah. Over His and wife. over again. <laughs> His wife died, you know? Years ago! He's not recovering! Hmm. So That's it. We're 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 not uh, we're not moving into a home with a uh, with a bath because in the unlikely event that you somehow die, I'll be like, she also loved hot baths. <laughs> You're gonna be like that <laughs> anyway. <laughs> in the unlikely event uh, that we die in a horrible car crash where we burn. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is very unlikely. I don't drive, and neither do you, really. I. I, I'm allowed to drive. You, I can drive. You can, but you don't. <laughs> it's David's closet. Oh, fucking. Even her clothes. Just. To be fair, that does look like it could have been a wedding dress. Would you really keep that? I can think of at least one person who might be okay with having it. Mm -hmm. In my stead. Yeah. If I was dead. Mm -hmm. The person who made it. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. That's a bit of giving back anyway, then. Yeah, I'm not sure. On the one hand, yes, it's her creation, you know. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand... But on the other hand, it's like... You know. This man is awful to listen to. Yeah. Oh, hey. Private Lapke. Let's go look there. Ooh, David's diary! <laughs> Dear diary. Okay. Oh, it's just... Oh, God, no. We, we don't need to read this again. Okay. This is just him whining about everything. Yeah, wow, it's, uh, it's very much, I am torment. Oh, my wife. Oh. Painting? He's totally gonna have a sad comment about it, I guess. Yep. Only a slight damper. One of my ancestors salvaged pieces from a burnt cathedral. <laughs> no wonder you got this <laughs> shit. Why clean it up? 
spare rooms. I keep them locked. That girl is in that room. I wish she'd stay with us. Anything about the gargoyles or the cabinet? No. Doesn't look like it. Never mind then. Downstairs we go. At least he also still can do a firm jog. Yeah. Portrait. Oh my god, it's my wife. She's dead. Yeah, click on it. Laura looks so elegant in that portrait. It is a fine portrait, though. Okay. It wasn't quite as bad a sentence as I was expecting. <laughs> well, were you expecting to just full on go... <laughs> basically, yes. <laughs> yes, I was basically expecting that. If this game were co-written by David Cage, that would have happened. That's basically how David Cage thinks people emote. <laughs> oh god. After the last two weeks with all the Blizzard news... Yeah. The first thing I think of now is... Uh, Wasn't David Cage also... Well, there was like apparently Photoshop going on that uh, some colleagues were being put into gay porn pictures or some shit. Yeah. It was definitely not okay. Yeah. And also very frat... What is it with frat boys? <laughs> what is it with frat boys and going to the gaming industry? I thought game developers were too nerdy for you guys. <laughs> well, he's at least holding on to the pictures. Yeah. Zippered pouch. Looks like that's stocked well enough for the moment. If Mrs. Dalton needs mm -hmm. more for incidentals, she'll let me know. Yeah, do tell them, uh, me, us about them. Your patience. My patience. I wonder how they're faring these days. Well, it sounds like they're all okay still. Well, let's hope. <laughs> At least he doesn't know they're dead. Mm. It's not like he's in a state to keep up with anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't say, Oh, eh? come on, man. It's a big-ass fucking achievement. Don't be like that. Does it? Probably does. Well, at least Samantha is in the bad, uh... Spirit. Hmm? Sam is in the bad spirit. Hmm. Okay, so... Dining room. I don't think he's gonna call anyone. No. Who are we gonna call? Look, some pretty watercolors. More sad business about the wife. This is a pretty downer episode now. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, that's the perfect time to talk about fat boy bullshit. <sighs> Yeah, you know what the insane thing is? I just go over like all the minor, tiny incidents I've ever run into in my life. Mm hmm But none of it was consistent enough to really call it a culture of anything. So I guess I'm fine? Maybe. But it really makes you question your own workplace. Oh, uh, I guess so. So, she was the one who took care of herself, she was the one who had the nice dress, she was the one who loved the music. Tell me something was, about you, She was also the one David. who loved throwing the dinner parties. You know, what I would find hilarious though, mm -hmm. is Kitchen. if, if it's it like, most of these were Laura's, uh, she was a music lover, yeah? And then like, there's somewhere there's Cradle of Filth. <laughs> yeah, that's mine. <laughs> He'll eat later. You need to eat, Dave. Listen to her. Boy, listen to her. Have you noticed anything unusual in the house lately? What do you mean? I don't know. Signs of a break in or intruder or just the presence of someone else in the house. Uh, Sam is here. <laughs> is that what you're all about? That girl. Lurking about. That girl. Yes, she went over to the university. Good. What a fat lot of good that does to my files. So, what do you think of her? Who? Sam, of course. You are a bear this morning. 
Yeah, she kind of is. <laughs> so much ago, gather she'll be uh, tricking everyone. Trouble to you, has she? Trouble. That girl has it stamped on her forehead in letters a mile high. Not that I can't deal with a chip like that. Well, I hope she works out. That lad's in a state and a half, and I've got enough to deal with caring for the rest. Of yeah, she probably does have more than enough to take care of. He really is being rude today. Yeah. Not particularly. Funny. I thought they said they were sending a medical student, but I told them that wasn't necessary, and they must have changed their mind. She's not a medical student. You think they've got that right at least? I know. That's why I think they must have sent someone else. Do you want me to call them? Doesn't matter now. You appear to be stuck with Miss Everett. Too attached to the girl, Stella. Ah, that's mean. <laughs> what I said. I needed someone to sort some things out for me and help with this new experiment. It's very short term. But you can't just hire the poor girl and send her packing within the month. <laughs> I don't see anything. Poor about Miss Everett. That shows how much you know about girls. She obviously hasn't got a pot to you know what in, or anyone much to care would be my guess. You should have seen the state of her clothes when she arrived. <laughs> she's been wearing them for a year. I think she doesn't change her clothes very often. Mm -hmm. None of my business. The point is, I don't care to have a stranger in the house. The quicker it's done, the better. Now, don't go upsetting yourself. I just thought it might be healthy to have someone else in that house. Stella. I won't say another word on the subject. <laughs> Unusual occurrences. What is it? I never said. You're acting strange. Now that's the pig calling the cow fat. <laughs> I, want I want you to tell me what you think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was two days ago. I was making your bed. I saw, well, I thought I saw a woman in the mirror on the dress. Oh no. And there's no one Just here. for a moment. And when I turned, no one was there. <laughs> it was my imagination playing tricks. The place is very quiet, yes. <laughs> about ghosts in this house it's not healthy and it isn't fair to Lord she's right you know do you hear me david styles mm. yeah yeah i do hope that you know i'm not looking at future me here because oh <laughs> boy uh let's hope i don't die yes don't die don't die. Not, not unless we're both past 70. can we make that 80 maybe well, I can't guarantee that, depending on our health. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, let's take a look at the private lab. Uh, you need the key for that. Oh, right. This game wants us to... There. We are doing it? Oh, it even has a... Oh. Doorbell is ringing. Let's go up, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm in my lab. I'll take it myself. I'll get it. Thank you, Stella. She's off. What's the package? What's in the box? Dialogue generator? What? Excuse me, what? I guess it might be something he uses for those experiment warm up talks. Maybe. What in the heck is all this? Mm hmm. First, go to the inventory, I want to see. He doesn't have it. Where we. Okay, is it this? What are we doing today? Yeah, I don't know. Oh boy. Mmm. Dear Dr. Styles, you sounded anxious for this, so I had it Corey to oh, Come on, some fat flavor. As we discussed on the phone, the only thing you need to do is connect an RNG monitor to my little invention here. Since you have my book, I won't bore you with the details. Remuskin. Okay. 
We're looking for a book from Ramuskin. Is that his book? Oh. There have been thousands of legitimate scientific studies done on psi phenomena over the past 100 years by such top-notch universities as Princeton and Cambridge. The bulk of these studies was conducted in the following broad categories. Telepathy. One subject sending a picture or design from flashcards to another subject. One subject visiting an unknown location and sending thought pictures to another subject describing the location. Precognition. A subject predicting a card from a deck of five designs. A subject predicting the result of a random number generator. A subject predicting the fall of a die. Telekinesis. A subject mentally forcing the number that will appear on an RNG. A subject mentally forcing the results of a throw of a die. Some exper interesting facts about Psy discovered in these experiments. 1. Studies where the subject was in a non-normal state of consciousness, like hypnosis, sensory deprivation or a dream state, scored higher than those conducted in a normal state of consciousness. This would indicate that there may be protective mechanisms against Psy built into the ordinary waking state of mind. The demonstration of Psy effects of 1 to 10% above pure chance is the true of the generation, general population. However, about 1% of the population scores much higher. This would indicate that a powerful Psy is a rare talent or gift akin to that of a musical prodigy or a world-class athlete. Groups of subjects working together have a greater Psy effect than individuals, especially if related or in a bonded relationship. The highest Psy results have been obtained by studies using random number generators, or RNGs. Oh dear. Aha. Uh -huh. RNG motor setters, 1 to 99. Hmm. Okay, and what's on the number two? Yeah, because I wanted to click number two, but... You click number three. Size studies using random number generators, or RNGs, show the best results. An RNG is a device which randomly generates numbers between 1 and 39. This type of device seems to work well with Psy because if you try to mentally force the RNG to come up with a number, for example 13, the fact that it might do so is, does not volatile the laws of na violate right. the laws of nature. After all, there is a 1 in 40 chance on each and every roll that a 13 will appear. Thus forcing a 13 is an easier task for the mind than moving a ball or bending a spoon. However, if after 50 tries you have generated 10 instances of 13 instead of the one that would occur by pure chance, it is likely that Psy was taking place. In a previous experiment, I used the basic idea of an RNG, combined with a tray of Rolodex cards filled with the letters A to Z plus one blank card to enable subjects to generate short words and phrases by the power of the mind. Each Rolodex was controlled by a flipping mechanism that operated as follows. The RNG motor was set to generate numbers from 0 to 26. If a 1 signal was received, it flipped to the letter A. If a 2 was received, it flipped to the letter B, and so forth, through the alphabet with 26 getting the letter Z. If the number 0 was received, the tray flipped to the blank card. I hope to allow subjects to build short words or phrases using the power of their mind, by focusing one letter at a time on the tray and trying to make the letter they wanted appear. After some trial and error, I found the settings that worked best. First, I set the chances of any card change occurring to a very low probability, since zero generated a blank card. I set the RNG motor to generate a zero 99% of the time. Thus the Rolodex only rarely turned to any letter at all, upping the chance that when this occurred it was quite deliberate. Then to generate any letter with equal percentage, I set the numbers 1 through 26 with the remaining percentage. 
Once the Rolodex on the tray flipped to a letter, the tray would lock to that letter and then move on to the next Rolodex. In this way, the RNG motor controlled only one letter at a time. Finally, all the other numbers could stay at zero, as they were not used in this experiment. They were remarkable results which are being compiled for a major article, and the interested scientists are encouraged to do their own versions of this experiment. Okay. So yeah, we're trying to basically recreate this word experiment, I think. Set number generation for user... Yeah. Uh, setting percentage slides... So and the numbers. The number up, uh, all the way to here. And yeah, and all the rest we want to put that to inactive. Yeah. And this one needs to be set to 99. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All yeah. right, let's leave a second and explore the lab a bit more. Whiteboard! He's not letting go. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, even saw a brush floating in the air for several seconds. Yeah, either you're hitting the drink too hard or something's up here, mate. To do for today Sci Research, Bold RNG Device, Isolation Tank Session, as outlined in the videotape. Can you look at the things? There's been a presence in the house, <laughs> you don't say. Okay, we know what to do. Well, we had kind of figured it out by accident anyway. Yeah. Tank lid, look at it. I'll do a session in the tank today, but first I want to collect items from around the house to help me strengthen my memories. Okay. Is he just gonna put himself in it? Yes. Oh boy, that sounds pretty dangerous though. It's old. You yeah, don't say. no kidding. It's a scanner. It's a scanner. Ooh. My file. Ah, oh, video <laughs> logs. Wine steward. Okay. How can we tell we're looking at dry reds? Color. Red. That's far too many bottles. Type. It... Dry. There are still too many bottles. What well, fucking year? Oh my god, that's hopeless. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to scan through some more stuff for that. Yeah, my files. Bane power. Oh, we've already read this. Yeah. We've already read this, too. Yeah, okay. Image shop. Ooh. We don't need this. No. Not yet. Oh, yeah. Video There's logs. Scanner. November 2. I've decided to, to try to keep Laura with me. For years, I've researched the possibility <sighs> that consciousness or mind is not the same thing as the physical brain. Since Laura's funeral, I swear, I have... Felt her presence. But maybe she doesn't want to stick around, you maniac. The isolation tank visualizing Laura. I don't know what will be the outcome, except probably to indulge my own grief. Yeah, but don't say. If any of her energy remains, then by giving it attention... He sounds actually a lot more academic here. Yeah. Since work no longer interests me, I've decided to make this my work. I will log the results. I've been spending two hours a day in the tank. The results have varied. Sometimes I'm convinced I feel Laura's presence. Other times I'm not able to get past my doubts. I still believe Laura is here. I do. Bergson, the philosopher, believed we choose our own reality. 
I am delusional, 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 I am delusional. But this is also Jim Jensen game, so it doesn't really matter what I think. <laughs> Thirty-three today. Happy birthday, Laura. Happy birthday, darling. Ah, that's all. Wait, with him being shirtless, there is this like supposed to be a sexy birthday gift for his deceased wife? <laughs> no, it's him being ready to get into the tank yeah, because probably. it's probably a sensory deprivation tank. Yeah, it is. Water. Something strange has been happening. There have been several incidents that indicate a presence in the house. And nobody knows he's doing this. Mm -hmm. Except him. And maybe by a long shot. Thingy. Upstairs. Miss Dawson. Yeah. Nana! <laughs> As we've established. Mm -hmm. Wait, does that mean she's related to him? It seems to imply it, but might just be that she's been. Um, home care for a very long time for the family already maybe since he was young Laura's presence in the house has continued I've decided to begin a new experiment to study the effects of imagination I'll use students as subjects and my fMRI my hope is to record data on the areas of the brain involved in detailed visualizations perhaps using biofeedback I can train myself mm -hmm. to stimulate the same area in my own brain and the man just wants his wife back yeah tank. this may in turn give more energy to Laura okay yeah we've pretty much done everything we can here camera I guess we'll uh, just set up the RNG now. Yeah, we reviewed them, it's fine. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Good. Now I can get started. Look at it. Right, so we wanted uh, this one to be zero. No, 99. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. It's oh, it's only taking. Oh, 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 is a hundred. Ah, okay. And yeah. this is probably yeah. So all okay. these are zero. So thirty-nine to whatever is zero. So yeah. do one up. Right. No, you didn't need to put that one. Oh yeah, yes, you did. I do. I do. Not. That I one. got confused by the labels. That's all. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. It seems to be fine. Set properly. Now. Red button. Red button. There. That's got it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, seems we're done here then. Yeah, I guess now we're looking for things to remind us of Laura. I am guessing a photograph somewhere which we can scan in to see a well, label on a wine. They've already suggested wine. So well, yeah, but I'm thinking a photograph of her with a wine bottle. Huh? Yeah, okay, upstairs. Night by the lake. Oh, he's trying to recreate a specific day. Yeah. Pictures! Parlor. That's what I was thinking. Good thing. And then we're gonna have to scan the photo into Enhance and be a little CSI Miami on this. Yeah. Uh, not this one, not this one, not this one. This one? There's no bottle though. Well, click on it. This was taken at the benefit. Benefit in it. Okay. This Okay. Mm. He seems fine with that. Keep looking. Oh. Funky, funky brain noises and everything. <laughs> what kind of wine? What kind of wine? Keep looking at the box of photos. She hated me for taking this one. 
but I couldn't help it. Yes. <laughs> Why are you taking a bikini? Well, buff suit. Uh, shots of me. <laughs> Would you hate me for taking buff su uh, suit shots of you? Didn't we already have this discussion today somehow? Mm, oh yeah, we did. Yeah, because we were looking at all the screenshots on our Switch and 90% of them are just you having fun in the Dead or Alive game. Right, 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 right. Did you... That was the last one. No, no, you did not click the last one. That one. Oh no, right. Laura and me at the Assam yeah. Reserve, India. Oh. Yeah, okay. this, was, this was the last one. Okay. Hmm. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, foyer. Go to the dining room, get a CD, I think. Yeah, that's probably gonna help. Preferably one she liked. Mm-hmm. I think I remember what we were playing that night. Now I just have to locate it. The Scarlet Furies. Yes, that's the okay, one. Scarlet Fu Furies, okay. Do we have it now? I don't know. Can't seem to do anything. Oh, 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 oh. please. There was a grabby hand. Yeah. He's gonna play it. This is so fucking cheesy. Come on, le leave the man alone. <laughs> Trying to create a ghost. Yeah. You still haven't told me what we're doing for my birthday tomorrow. I hope you haven't planned anything epic or embarrassing. It's your birthday tomorrow? Slipped my mind. Mm-hmm. As if you'd miss any opportunity. A disgustingly devious. perfect couple, I can tell you that. <laughs> well, she, she's being all like, you haven't forgotten my birthday, right? Mm -hmm. And he's playing coy, of course, and it's like, yeah, as if you would miss any opportunity to be devious. Ooh, these two were into some shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've already played the song. Okay. Uh, I have another idea. Mm -hmm. Bedroom. Yeah. Uh, Probably want to get one of her perfumes, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. But we still don't know what wine she wanted. Cabinet? <laughs> I think we can be happy we don't need to uh, use specific verbs for any of this shit. Game yep. is just doing it for us. What? Well, we can ask Mrs. Dalton, I guess. Because mm -hmm. we don't seem to be getting more tips about the wine. Yeah. Dry red! Okay. We still have half a kilometer of a list. <laughs> Unless we're supposed to go to the tower and whatnot. Yeah. Who knows? Actually, let's take a look. Ooh, the logo even changed. Yes. Very spooky. Mm -hmm. A spectral presence. Memories of a summer night. Sigh and sigh again. That piece of junk. That song sounds like we have... Oh, maybe the M uh, MRI scanner mm. thingy. A message from Laura. Okay. Let's go downstairs. We've done some random bonus shit already. Yeah. Okay. Probably all the Laura, 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 <laughs> Laura, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> we shouldn't make so much fun of it. No. It is really terrible, but on the other hand, you know. Fine. She we can't talk to her. Is, what about this? No? What about that? No? Okay. Go to spot. Maybe there's a winery uh, name on there. It's 
a business card from Inspector Pazer of the Oxford Police Department. He was the investigator on the accident. I don't think we currently care. Na, 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 na. No, looks like no. No, that's uh, Hellboy. Simon's business card with his phone number. Who is he even? Wasn't Simon one of the people? Oh, he the... was one of the nice people, probably. Yeah. Let's... Maybe let's go outside for a second. There's maybe options outside. We're trying to create a clear memory here. Mm hmm. Oh, he even has a black coat. Yeah, he put on a jacket. Well, he's interested in the bottom of the tower. Mm. Nothing with the paintings. Old family portraits. Laura took them down when she moved in. We meant to have them restored, but it never happened. Uh huh. Do tell us about the Bentley. <laughs> well, at least she keeps it okay. Yeah. Take care of your car. I don't touch you. What the hell is that? Hell is that? Wow. It's a bike. It's time for your midlife crisis. <laughs> what is this? Is this what the plebeians ride these days? <laughs> midlife crisis. Okay. Okay. I don't think we're gonna get him in town. Like, you can try, but... Oh, actually. No. We ain't going anywhere with this boy. <laughs> I do not leave the Dread Hill house. Okay, see if he can, like, pick out the wine by himself. Basement hall. We can always look around in the main lab too. Mm-hmm. Hello. Wine rack. Laura and I were drinking wine that night at the lake. Let's try the main lab first. I don't need to look anything up. I bought that for the clinic. Never used it. You don't say. I bought that. No, I want to. Ah, there. Yeah, you need to click correctly. Beds, computer. Oh boy. Oh, we can take a look at it. Uh -huh. Okay. Sessions, okay then. Bed. You can look at the bed. These beds are a tad intimidating, I suppose. I've been down here so long, I forget what it might be. <laughs> we noticed. He's a little self-aware, at least. Yeah. Not much, but a little. You can give him that. I, I think this is basically trying to make the guy a bit more approachable and likable for the player. Yeah. Like, we've seen the other side for a while now. We've done the investigation to break the ice, in a sense. Mm -hmm. And now we're here. Anyways. There's got to be a something that points to the uh, Can you look at the photograph again? Maybe he says where it was. I wanted to rebuild them. Okay. Can we put it in the scanner? It's a scanner. Okay, we don't need a scan. No. Well, yeah, I was thinking there was a painting or something where she's Excuse depicted me? with a wine bottle. Oh, wait! I'm result PC. We're going somewhere. Okay, keep going. <laughs> this is good. 
And it doesn't even say anything. Yeah, like, did we look look at it? Like we looked at closer, but it didn't. We didn't say anything. We didn't interact with it or anything. The dialogue generator is set correctly. Well, I guess she is. Maybe I'm trying to come through. Household chemicals. Okay, never mind. Okay. And the music shifted to something a little more spooky and glitchy. Spooky computer. Okay. So we had the wine steward, right? Yeah. And we know it's red. And dry. What region might he have liked? Hold on a second. Uh -huh. Does doesn't he say where the picture was taken? Wasn't that like a wine region? Did he say anything? Laura, our lake cottage. No. Shit. Oh, wait. Scarlet Furious. No, no, no. Just click. No, no, click. Not on the side thing. That's... Dialogue generator. Um, I'm maybe trying to come through. Blah, blah, blah. Ninety per years. Gold Star Press Everett. Hours of data. Don't need to look. Blah, blah. More to the left. Simon's business card. Blah, Old family blah. portraits. Oh. Miss Dalton. Forward. Mm -hmm. It's a business card. It's card theories. Ah, ha, 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 ha. there we go. Okay. A dry red from the Loire, probably. Yeah. She likes dry. She likes red. Loire. There it is. We're getting there. <laughs> okay. Can can we click on them or something? No. He will. He will want to. Can we go down in the years? That's not the right year. It was the night before Laura's birthday, so we were probably drinking. How old was she? It was a tradition of this. Oh, um, we we can figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was this her? No. No. Eight oh five. Oh five. Which there minus thirty three means that she was born in seventy two. Okay. So nineteen seventy. Two. Need it. Terrific. That narrows it down to three bottles. <gasps> yeah, you can. So, yeah, he can probably find those. Ah, uh, hold on. I'll just for certain or get some numbers down yeah. at least. Ninety-two. Ninety-three and ninety-four. Ninety-four. Okay. We'll see if it's actually useful that I wrote anything down. This game does help you a lot. Yeah, it's a good thing that he was like, no, we were probably drinking something from her birth year. Uh, oh. uh 92? Hmm? 92. Oh, yeah. Nope. 93? Nothing. 94? Magic! <laughs> Again! <laughs> of course it's the last one we try. <laughs> Honestly, you kind of look like a creep right now. <laughs> I'm in my lab with my alcohol. <laughs> doing an imagining experiment. Honestly, he just sounds insane at this point. He kind of does. I think I was more willing to believe in magic when I was first playing this. <laughs> now I've been not quite the same. Can we tank lit it? Hmm? Can we tank lit it? I should be able to find a few more items in there. No. More items. Okay. Uh something to touch maybe. How about a dress? Yeah, I was thinking that We as hadn't well. yet uh, got ourselves on the path of maybe doing these things, so you know. 
I like her pictures and shit. Foster boy. David's bedroom. Uh, it wasn't the closet that he mm. was keeping her clothes. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I saw a bikini somewhere. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I paid attention. I, I'm not sure whether it was a bikini, but it looked... This looks like... Can you move the top thing? This is Laura's bathroom. She wasn't wearing it that night in the cottage. Yeah. There we go. Fondle, fondle, fondle like we're having fun. Are we there yet, David? To be honest, in the previous pictures, it kind of looked like they were skinny dipping. <laughs> so I was thinking that was what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. What if we look in the mirror? All the things. All the Laura things. Oh yeah, we didn't click the vanity, I think. Or, yeah, no, she uh, she brushed her hair there mm -hmm. every night. Okay. We did that. I just want to make sure he has no other reactions that could lead to him being like, Yeah, I know it now, or whatever. Mm. Unless you want to go all the way downstairs and try it again already. Okay. I mean, don't we have all the five senses now? Yeah, we kind of do. We have a visual, we have a taste, we have sound, we have touch. Yeah. We have the smell, kind of, with wine. Yeah. Oh, the perfume. Yeah. Uh, let's just try it. Yeah, we have all five senses, and now we're going to go for the sixth one. Which is the whole sigh thing. Okay. Hey, maybe there's a message now. Um... <laughs> That was the message, basically. Mm hmm No, the message hasn't changed. Okay. The controls on the tank. Ah. Tank controls, yeah. Insert CD. Um. Um. The scarlet. CD. Probably there. No. No. That's not. That's not right. <laughs> oh there. Come on. Where do we put it? C D button. Boop. Okay. So the funnel, there we Ah, basic scent, that's what we want to do the shampoo, shampoo in, okay. I guess. Yeah. Those are basic scents that I can infuse in the machine. Pine, ah. vanilla and sandal. But I need something more specific. The shampoo is loaded in the scent filter. Plonk. Open tank. Can we? Can we? Can we? Are we good enough? Strip, baby! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Get drunk. Sniff some shampoo. <laughs> it's a weird drug trip. Ooh. Speaking of which, 
Dad says he'll be joining us for a few days in Venice at Christmas. Won't that be marvelous? Jesus Christ! Rich Fox. So We're in France right now. We'll be mm -hmm. at Venice in Christmas. Blue tiles. Blue tiles. Check the cars, David. Check the cars, David. So, did we just get a message from Beyond the Grave? Yes, we did. I guess we will have to... Oh? Nothing changed. No. But anyway, we'll I guess we will have off, to find out but he's probably not done next yet. time. Or is he? Seems to be done. Okay. Yes. See you next time, the viewers. Where listeners. we will see what this whole blue tiles and cars thing is all about. If we can remember blue tiles and cars. See you next time. Bye bye.